Hey guys, it is finally Friday. It is January 28th, 2022, and we have some new mods, we have some updates, and we have a new map. So the updates are as follows. We have the Class Axion 800 series, it fixed floating decals. Um, it's various floating decals, uh, fixed rotation point of rear window wiper. There we have the John Deere slice weight. They uh, added more color options. Those are the two updates. And for mod maps, we have the construction map. That's going to be 42.11 megabytes to download and install. And basically, guys, I'm not going to show that off because it's very similar to, say, No Man's Land or the flat map from, from FS19. Basically, they have a few things built into the map. But overall, you can actually build the map however you like. So... With that being said, let's get into the store and let's take a look at all the mods that we have today. First up, we have the Landini 6L T4i series, 29.08 megabytes to download and install. Let's see here, it's going to take up 12 slots. It's going to range between 143 and 176 horsepower, $125,500 to buy. Let's take a look at this here. Okay, so it is a Landini, so we have front linkage, 135 kg front weight, 405 kg, 585 kg, and back to front linkage. Wheel brand, we have trailer board, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vertestein, Nokians, back to trailer board. Wheel setup, we have standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus weights, narrow tires, rear twin wheels, twin wheels and standard and let's see what do we have for Nokian for Nokians we have standard standard 2 and we have the communals there we go put that back to Trellerborg fender configuration so we have without fenders or we have front fenders and we have back to without fenders front loader attacher we have uh, Stoll Quick and Hauer and just set up so we have the 145 that 143 horse 160 and 163 horse, 175 and 176 horse, and back to 143. We have main color options. Blue restyling, it's a little darker. Then we have blue metallic. They have blue chromed. And then we have the room colors. You could do either of those like that. And we're actually going to buy, or, we'll buy one of these and, uh, Show you guys something else about that. That's pretty cool. All right, so here we are in the Landini. Check out the lights here. Has signal lights. We have the beacons. And let's see here. If we go inside, if we go like this here, our does this do? Okay, so with <clears throat> R1 pressed and the right stick left to right, we can actually adjust that mirror, which is actually pretty dang cool. If we go L1 and the right stick, we can adjust that mirror. So I think that is actually a really good feature because what? Oh! Wait, and up and down, we can swing them out. Okay, so you know what? This is actually something that I hope they do on all the tractors in the future. This is something that I would like to see just in base game. Because, I mean, this would be so helpful when, when you're backing trailers in and stuff. Wow, that is something. All right, good job. So over here, we might as well take a quick look at it. It looks uh, pretty good, I guess. Again, this is the PS4 version, so it's going to look a little bit better on the PS5 version. But it does look good. So as you can see, we don't have the reflective beacons. That's how you can tell I'm definitely on the PS4 version. All right, guys, that is the Landini 6L T4i series. <clears throat> Let's move on to the next thing, shall we? Here we have the Hauer BW Grabber Pack. So this will be 7.15 megabytes to download and install. So we have the RBZ 919. This is going to cost $3,550. Take up four slots. Take a look at this one here. Okay. 
Nope, no configurations. I got a feeling these will be really easy. So we have the SBZ915, 1890, takes up three slots. We can change these. Design, we have orange and black. Attacher type, we have Euro Attacher, three point attacher, Euro and three point attacher. Okay. Here we have the POS 1500, $3,040, takes up three slots. Uh, <clears throat> what? I'm trying to figure out exactly what this is. Is this a silage cutter or, hmm, I'm not sure. This could be used, oh, it, this tool can be used to transport logs. Really interesting. And then we do have the log grab here, RG2000, 5030, and again, three slots in orange, black. Now I'm wondering if this was glitched. Can I, okay, this was glitched. So we can configure it orange or black, design color. We can do that. Okay, cool, that's the Howard BW grabber pack. Next up, we have the Sigma RW520. This is going to be 10.86 megabytes to download and install. $16,500. This is a cultivator. Um, eight slots. It's going to take 250 horsepower to run this thing. 5.2 meters. And there it is. We have no warning signs and with warning signs. Next up, we have the Fent Vario 300, $107,500, takes up 15 slots, going to range between 113 and 142 horsepower. It's going to take 9.49 megabytes to download and install. It's a, uh, it's definitely a Fent. So, wheel brand, we have Trellerborg, Michelin, Continentals, Midas, BKT, Vertestein, Nokians, back to Trellerborg, wheel sub, we have standard, wheel weights, Wide tires, wide tires plus wheel weights, wide tires two, wide tires plus weights two, narrow tires, rear narrow twin wheels, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, back to standard. Speaking lights, we have none, we have left, we have right, left and right. Front loader attacher, again we have without, then we have quick and hour, and just set up the variable 311 is 113 horse. The 312 is 123 horse. 313 is three, 133 horse. A 314 is 142 horse. And back to the 113. Main color. You can do any one of these you want here. And we have the rim color. You can do any of these. And that is the Fent 300 Vario. Next up, we have the Irmo Aero. This is a subsoiler. This is going to cost $9,000. It's got a 3 meter work width. It's going to need 130 horsepower to operate. It's going to be 1.89 megabytes to download and install. And okay, this has configuration. So let me back out and go back in. There we go. So work with three meters, four meters. And I am lost as to how this works. You know what? We're going to buy one of these to uh, see how this works. <clears throat> Okay, so there it is. We have it on. So let's see here. Unfold. Ah. Okay. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty slick, man. I like that. That's that's pretty slick. And okay, cool. So I like that. So that's the Irmo Arrow. So moving on, we have the Irmo Ghibli 300. This is a disc hero, three meter work width. It's gonna require 150 horsepower to operate, $14,000. And this is going to take 5.97 megabytes to download and install. So we have cage roller, ring roller, and main color, we can switch it to Irmo white or Irmo gray. So the last thing we have to look at in the shop is the machinery for big bags. This is going to be 1.55 megabytes to download and install. We have the rack for one big bags at $1,500. So it's going to take up one slot. You can change the main color to anything you see here. We have the rack for two big bags, $2,500. This is going to take up one slot. Again, we can change the color. And we have the homemade bag lifter. 
coming in at $500 and again taking up only one slot and we can change the color. Very cool. I like that. I like it. All right, guys. So that's it for what we have in the shop. Now we need to go take a look at the placeables. All right, guys. So the first one we're going to take a look at has to do again with bees. So two days in a row, we've had uh, mods that have to do with the bees. Now this one is the more honey palette place options. This is going to be 0 0.15 megabytes. And this literally takes the one that we had yesterday and amps it up to actually uh, new levels. So what we have here, we have honey palette location. Okay, so now we have the new one. So <laughs> there's a lot of these guys, so bear with me. So we have the honey beehive honey palette location. Okay, this is going to spawn four pallets. $204 and it's going to take a one slot. This one is going to uh, spawn eight pallets with two layers. It costs $208. This one here will spawn six pallets. It costs $206. We have this one here will spawn 12 pallets in two layers. $212. This one here will spawn 12 pallets. It costs $224. You all take up one slot. This one will spawn 24 pallets in two layers. $212. So... That is crazy. So literally, I hate to say it, but this mod sort of makes yesterday's mod pointless because yeah, that one can spawn two pallets, but I mean, wow, the options here are just really crazy. And I'm, I'm gonna assume, yeah, only one item is allowed. So that's not that big of a deal. But let's take a look at this. So yeah, so 24 pallets of honey will spawn here. I mean, to me, I think that's fantastic because, you know, you don't want to keep moving these pallets every time one or two spawn in. So that's that's very cool. That's the more honey pallet place options. Um, moving on, we have one more. We have seasonal decorations. So let's go back into the build mode here. And we go down to decorations. And I'm going to say this is going to be an other. Yes. Here we go right here. Um, so these are actually pretty cool if you're into making your own um, farms. This is going to come in 8.89 megabytes. So what do we have here? Seasonal decorations. Uh, these take up four slots. This one takes up six slots. Six slots. Uh, seasonal decoration wheelbarrow. Seasonal de decoration group. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Let's this down here okay so that's what you get what do we get with this one okay with here we get like a uh, a topiary I guess that's what you call that there we go and then with this one this is a seasonal decoration wheelbarrow we're just going to place these to see what they look like. Oh, and here we have a uh, grouping of them. So let's kind of do that like that. So, ah. so basically what these are, are decorations that they will change with the seasons. Um, now, I don't know if you have to actually change the seasons or we can change the month. So let's, uh, let's try changing the month quick here to see uh, if we can get these to change. I'm guessing you're going to have to actually change the season. So what are we in? We're in, uh, this is March. I think we're like probably in August. So let's go to September here. Yeah, okay. So you're actually going to have to change the season because it's in August. And uh, yeah, I just don't feel like doing that, guys. But anyway, those are the mods for today, January 28th. 2022 i hope you're all having a fantastic day i hope you have an awesome weekend and we'll see you next time